Hi everyone, welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. We are in the 33rd episode of this series and today we have Stuti here with us who has been recently placed at Zynga as a part of a campus placements at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us. So before we talk to her, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students, BTEC, uh, CSC, IT and circuit branches were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 7.5 or 75% in their 10th, 12th, as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Stuti and understand her experience. Congratulations on your placement. Hi, Chishnu. Thank you so much. Yeah. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. So hi, I'm Stuti and I'm currently pursuing BTEC with CSE at VIT Valor. I come from Patna, Bihar, but currently I'll be shifting to Bangalore for my uh, internship with Zynga Network. Uh, my hobbies include uh, cycling, listening to music, I'm also into gaming and uh, of course sporting. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. You can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, so firstly, shortlisting process so 7.5 with the cgpa criteria uh, people know that wasn't eligible okay after that we had uh, the first online assessment round round hmm. uh, it was the Natuna laboratories so uh, we had three coding questions in that the coding questions were based on dsa itself i mean uh, one of the questions was a stack and queue question the second was a array question the sliding window part and the third one was also a queue question okay so post that uh, some people were shortlisted for the interview rounds there were three interview rounds the first one was a pure dsa round in that i, I was asked questions from array stacks and queues a tiny programming question okay uh, post that the second round was a system design round it was basically a game development i mean they wanted to check my approach and how i go for different configurations of the game so i was given a board game and i was supposed to design it using some uh, boobs concepts mm -hmm. uh, change the configurations and how the players would move and things like that it was like it wasn't a correct or a right or wrong answer it was based on how would i would approach mm -hmm. from that problem okay so it was a uh, like one one and a half uh, hour long interview post that the third round was again a technical commercial round so in that, I was again asked some boobs concept, DPMS, along with some computer architecture and then some uh, HR questions at the end. Okay, okay. So that was it and you finally, like after that you got the results? Yeah, I got uh, three people got selected from my campus. Sorry, oh. two. Okay, okay. So yeah. from, uh, is it from Velour 2 or entirely 2? Uh, it comprises of both Velour and Chennai and other campuses also, but the final selection Okay. 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 That's great. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm sure it's going to help many people. Uh, do you have any suggestions for people who are your juniors or for anybody who want to get placed in Super Dream companies? Yeah, sure. So uh, the first and the foremost thing is you have to set a goal for yourself. I mean, what type of company you want to get placed yeah. because there are many people who are uh, confused mm. about whether they want to do masters or placements. So you can't just master something at the end. So you have to set a goal first. Once you have that, I mean, you know, look out for your seniors or your peers, what they're doing. Of course, that's important. DSA is the most important in this process. I mean, problem solving. You can solve any problem if you have mastered this one concept. So I would suggest you to start it in your third year positively if you want to get placed in a good company. Hmm. Uh, DSA, keep practicing. I wouldn't say that there's an end practicing DSA once you've done 200 questions and you have just mastered it. I think it depends on the quality of questions you solve and how many variations you've done in single topics. So that's very important. I mean, practice never ends. You just have to keep mastering until you get place right. and then you can stop if you want to. Uh, also, one very important thing was to not skip on giving contests because I think what really helped me track my progress was the, con uh, the contest itself. I used to give the weekly, bi-weekly contest on Leetcode, sometimes on code forces, but that wasn't regular. I was regular on Leetcode mm -hmm. and uh, like I could see the progress. Like firstly, I solved one question for like the first three, four contests and I 
started solving two and then two was a constant. Sometimes I I could solve the third question. I was feeling very happy about it. But then I used to like regularly solve the third question. Yeah. So I mean, those things really helped me track my you know problem solving in a limited time. It's a one mm. and a half hour contest, so you have to keep track of time as well. And the quality of questions are pretty good. I mean, similar to what you get from interviews. Mm. So contests are very important according to me. And yeah, keep practicing. The consistency is key in this. Right. Okay. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much for doing this. And yeah, thank you. I'm sure it's going to help many people. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Say thank you for watching all my videos and giving me so much support. So I hope uh, these videos are really helpful. If you have any suggestions or any comments, please do comment or reach out to me on LinkedIn or Instagram or wherever you want. okay and let me know i'll try to implement any anything that you suggest apart from that i would surely suggest that you share my videos and subscribe to my channel while you're watching and stay tuned because i'm going to upload so many more interview experiences in the coming days so because it's still the placement season for the next couple of months at least so for the next couple of months you'll be getting continuous videos so please do subscribe and stay tuned and thank you all for watching